Hello and welcome to Streets of Gotham, an ongoing Blades in the Dark game following a crew of Gotham City rogues. We're playing a simplified version of Blades in the Dark with a special Gotham City playset. I'm your game master and producer, David, he, him. Uh, I'm a graphic designer, an illustrator, and a game designer. You can check out my tabletop RPGs over at dbb-8.itch.io. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, at Brutman. And let me introduce to you, this evening, our cast. Let's start with Marcy. Hey guys, uh, I'm Marcy, aka Experimental Madness, which is the username you can find me most places around the internet, except for Twitter, where I shall remain the resident cryptid, but technically you can find me there under the username Marciful. I'm a writer and an editor, and this is the first time I get to say this, uh, part of an award-winning ensemble cast. Hell yeah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's um, what I'm talking about. Yeah, David did threaten if we didn't mention it. Um, I did. Yeah, Hole in the World won for Best Ensemble Cast. It's amazing. Um, and I'm here. I'm back. I'm very excited to be playing Streets of Gotham again. I am playing your friendly neighborhood hit woman, uh, Jackie Ripley. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say something funny, but I will, I will save that. But, you know, uh, sometimes... <laughs> Um, former, former, future, who knows, bodyguard to Harvey Dent. Once in future bodyguard. That's what I was <laughs> going to say. And then I was like, don't do it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good night. I'm sorry. I, I stole your thunder. I apologize. No, it's perfect. Steal away. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, let's go on down to Pooja. That's me. Hello, everybody. I am Pooja. You can find me on Twitter at Pooja. And at Pajama Rocky everywhere else, including the Twitch chat tonight. And I am back playing Manny Quinn, the uh, unusually upbeat for somebody in Arkham, wife <laughs> of Harley Quinn. Um, yeah, she's just out here to have a good time and heist her wife. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hashtag good wife heist. Wife heist. All right. And Hopper. It's me. What's up? I'm Hopper. I'm your resident uh, dumpster fire. Um, and I am a professional arborist and professional game master um, and now award winning ensemble cast member um, uh, <laughs> based out of Brooklyn, New York. Um, my pronouns are they, them, as are that of my characters as I return to play Alexi Oli Oleander. Um, Who's uh, who is our resident ace getaway driver, chauffeur, and just lightly affiliated with Poison Ivy? Very lightly. Mm, you you yes. wouldn't even notice. No, no. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. real subtle. Definitely about it. Yes, extremely not in love. Yes, it's it's normal. Mm? Totally what was normal. that? What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. It's a club. We're gonna get T-shirts made. Definitely not in love with our bosses. <laughs> it's. Uh, yeah, it's the main, it's the main thing that this stream is about. <laughs> but also, uh, Manny does say, if you're in love with your boss, just, like, marry them. What hey, the fuck? listen, if you're in love with your boss, you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> I don't. Oh, no, I work some days. The... <laughs> um, all right. So well, every day boss. you work is like a mini honeymoon if you do it right. Aww. Yeah, That's I said a dumb one and you upsetting. made it sweet. All right, so we are going to jump back into it. So we start high over Gotham Bay. We see the Gotham City skyline under these rolling gray storm clouds. The thin sunlight is is sort of sinking just below the uh, the sort of silhouette shadows of the buildings of Gotham City. The sun has has just set behind these storm clouds and humming through this light drizzle of rain from the city. We see a jet black aircraft. This is, of course, the Batwing. We cut to the cockpit. And we see the Batman uh, surrounded by instrumentation piloting this machine over the water. Uh, and he 
reaches forward and uh, flips a switch to open a, uh, a radio channel. Oracle, I'm coming up on Arkham Island. What do we know about the situation down there? We we know that the alarm was set off in, and uh, there are reports strange of, of, of people leaving. Um, there was a emergency call made from someone escaping the island, and that is the basic information we have. Let me send that over to you. Have you been able to tap into any of the asylum security systems? Do we have any idea what's going on inside the buildings? Uh, what do we think Oracle's uh, tinker is? Uh, well, uh, Oracle as, uh, as an NPC is just going to be rolling fortune dice. She is at a level okay. four. So if you want to give me a fortune roll to see what kind of access she has to the interior of Arkham Asylum, uh, okay. four dice. All right. I got a five, four and two twos. Okay. Uh, so mixed success. So I think, um, I think because it's Arkham, Oracle has basically a uh, a running feed uh, yeah. of uh, of a few key like security cameras uh, and, and stuff like that in in Arkham Asylum uh, that you know you can just kind of pull up. As mm-hmm. uh, as needed. Uh, however, um, I think the the mixed success of this is you were able to see everything that happened up until Scarecrow took control of the oh. central security terminal in the asylum. So you you could definitely you know you have footage of like the Scarecrow goons coming in. Uh, the them like storming a couple of key points, uh, mm-hmm. and then at the point at which the power went out for all of you know uh, all of our uh, all of our wonderful hench people, uh, that is the point at which the video feed stops, and okay. I don't think you have any information beyond that point. Yeah. Uh. As you can see, it was some sort of an attack on the asylum, but we don't know what's been happening since it went dark, other than what was reported on that phone call. All right. If your feeds there been- was an open fire of some sort. A fire? Where? Well, not fire. I meant goons open fire. Not sure at whom. Oh, a fire fight. That's fire not fight. good. Have you localized that? This is a five again. Okay, uh, you uh, you have um, some reports of gunfire coming from the main courtyard, main uh, from yeah. a security officer uh, who managed to radio a message out. Yeah. Report. The only report I have is from the front of the building, the main lobby. I guess the guards. But that are really, doesn't mean that's all we have. Right. I guess the guards are really dicing it up in there. Mm. If they are guards. Hmm. Right. All right. If your security feeds have been cut, that means that Scarecrow has taken over the main security terminal. That's in the mansion, in the administration wing. Yes. I can send you blueprints now. They're a bit old, but they should still hold. Good. What about GCPD chatter? Wow, I have different dice rolling five constantly. All right. Not a single six, though. Fives, fives it is. Uh, okay, so uh, GCPD um, inbound, but they've like just scrambled. They're they're mm-hmm. way behind. Yeah. <laughs> GCPD is uh, locked up in city traffic. It's going to take them a while. 
But they're on their way. Do you want me to find where Dick and the others are? I can look at who's closest. No, they'll still be tied up with Penguin's goons. Radio them and tell them I'm not going to be able to help with that. Marcy, you're fired. <laughs> um, okay, but don't don't forget, you can always call for backup. Well, the cavalry's coming in sooner or later. Hopefully by the time Gordon and his boys arrive, I'll have established the situation on the ground and maybe resolve this whole thing. Is there anyone in there you can ask for help? I don't like you going in there by yourself. Not with an entire asylum full of people you've put there. Right. I'll see what I can do. There are a lot of guards in there. Somebody has to have some way to deal with the security systems from the inside. Hey, if you find a way in, I might be able to help too. Right. I'll keep in touch. I'm going to go in quiet. I'll land the bat wing on the south side of the island near the docks, and then I'll see what I can do about reconning the situation. Roger. <sighs> one of these years, Oracle. One of these years, I'm going to have a quiet Halloween. Mm, I don't think you'd really like that. Godspeed, bats. And with that, we see the Batwing uh, zip over the water uh, and we get a nice broad view uh, of Batman's aircraft approaching Arkham Asylum. Smash cut to the three of you back in the courtyard. Uh, you are in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> so, Jackie, Manny, and Ollie, uh, you are in the asylum's entrance courtyard, backing away from the steps that lead to the main building uh, towards this gothic fountain that's sort of in the, the center of the this like cobblestone roundabout driveway. Uh, you are rather heavily armed now, which uh, is cool. Uh, Y'all have uh, a couple of uh, pretty nursty firearms uh, that you managed to pick up from uh, a couple of the scarecrow goons who you took down in the main lobby and reception. However, the scarecrow goons uh, also remain heavily armed themselves. So we've got bullets just flying from this cloud of gas that's billowing out from the main doors uh, as these scarecrow goons uh, just just try to mow you down. Uh, behind you, you hear Ed revving a car uh, through the asylum main gates, and then you hear those gates uh, with a, an ominous grinding of wheels clank shut behind you. But Ed is away. So that's something. Off to the side, uh, you see guards ushering civilians and uh, asylum staff to safety. Uh, they have kind of split off into uh, into two groups. Uh, so there's one cluster of people who is headed to one side of the courtyard where the uh, the Arkham Manor is. Uh, that is the administration building. And there's one group who are making their way to the parking garage, uh, which is where Ed just was with Isabel and Mila. Uh, and the, the guards are trying their best to just keep focused on the civilians and usher them uh, out of the way of danger. Um, there are a couple of scarecrow goons on either side who kind of chased the guards out initially when you like open the doors and and had everybody flee out 
into this courtyard causing I don't want to say mass confusion because it was already mass confusion before that, but causing additional confusion, uh, you know, confusion two, if you will, the next mm-hmm. level of confusion. Elect- 2.0, electric boogaloo. Yeah, confusion uh, confusion 2.0, uh, confusion 3.0, uh, it's crypto based now, uh, oh, which tracks, cool. if you think about it, extremely confusing. Yeah. I was so, going to make a... Does the confusion work no matter what which configuration <laughs> you plug in? Uh, it does, and yet so, it's supposed to, and yet somehow you never get it right the first time. It sucks. It's garbage. <laughs> it's like the fucking you is it, it's, it's like a USB. Yeah. Uh, USC. You trying to plug in? Universal. So it's like a USB serial key. You're trying to plug in. You always confusion. have to like fucking flip it. Yeah. Even even if it's right the first time, you have to. Uni- flip it. It, it, no, it's UFC. It's universal fucking confusion. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that that describes me right now. You have said a lot of words in an order for uh-huh. sure. <laughs> right. So we've established the mood. We're here. We got there. <laughs> so, Things are happening. Uh, so these these guards who uh, were initially chasing or um, the scarecrow goons who are initially chasing down the guards and the civilians uh, have realized that there is a much more immediate threat. Uh, Three jabronis with submachine guns uh, who are definitely not part of their team uh, as, as they can readily tell by the standard issue black and white striped asylum scrubs that you are all still wearing. Uh, but, uh, you got a lot of fire coming in your direction. What do you do? Well, if there's not a lot of cover around, then the thing that I want to become is the fastest moving, hardest to hit target. And I would very much like to do... Well, not not two things, but maybe one of two things, depending in order of importance. If I see any of the scarecrow goons going after civilians, I like to get I'd like to be aiming at them first. Uh, If I don't really see I don't really care so much about the guards. Sorry. Um, If, however, it's more important and I see uh, scarecrow goons going after to the parking garage to get a car to potentially follow Ed after we went through all of that trouble, making sure he got out of mm. here. Okay. I'm going to go after them first and try to, to like, just scatter them. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's get what each of you are doing and then we'll resolve each of them. I think that might be the best way to do this. So Jackie, that's your plan. Manny, what are you doing? Uh, Manny did not pick up a gun because she got, I believe, two masks. So she's got a couple of things she's trying to do. She wants more gas masks so so that there's one for everybody and Harley. And the second thing she wants to do is get a weapon. So um, are there bushes or, like, shrubs along the (laughs) side? Calm down. (laughs) That's not what I was laughing. Uh Uh-huh. I was thinking about a Monty Python reference. You okay? Are there? Um, yeah, is there shrubbery? Are, are, is there shrubbery along the side? Because Manny is going to. If there's no like actual cover, Manny's going to dive into the shrubs and try to prowl. Uh, cool. And especially because Jackie and you know, assuming Ollie is going to do the same thing, they're going to go in more like harder to ignore. So um, Manny's aiming for. Yeah. Prowl and getting the drop on some guards to help her buddies, but without guns. Okay, cool. So there, there's some hedges and shrubs. Sorry, Hopper, go ahead. I'm sorry, but harder to ignore is sending me because that's such a good description. <laughs> it's the most prosaic, like, passive description <laughs> of the vibe of those two characters I've ever heard. Yeah, it's it's a whole vibe. It's a whole vibe and we're all here for it. So yes, yeah. <laughs> there are uh, there are definitely like shrubs and hedges planted along the um, uh, along the sort of walls of the main building uh, and they uh, and they extend a little bit. Um, if you would like there to be hedges elsewhere, well, we'll come back to that and we'll see if you can find some with a roll. Cool. Ollie. 
what's your plan here? Ollie is going to try to move. I think they're um, it, they're not too concerned. Like uh, Jackie's, I think they're less concerned with civilians than Jackie is. They're more concerned with about not getting gunned down by Scarecrow's goons, um, goons, and uh, definitely extremely not concerned about the corrections officers. Yeah, the cab means corrections officers too. Thank you. Um, Certainly and, does. Uh, Trying just going for cover and then just making sure that Jackie can get to cover safely too. Okay, cool. So, uh, Jackie, you are headed for the parking garage. Um, so the situation that we have there is there are uh, there are a couple of guards and a handful of uh, uh, of people who were previously visiting the asylum or working there. Um, uh, who are uh, are sort of like crouched uh, and and trying to like run crouched uh, th- across the across the cobblestones and down this ramp. This is an underground garage, so they're trying to run down the ramp into uh, into the garage, and the guards are sort of ushering them uh, ushering them forward. Come on, folks! Come on, let's move it. Garage and. The scarecrow goons were pursuing them uh, initially, but again, at the uh, the sort of sustained eruption of gunfire, uh, have turned their attention uh, away as the civilians are ushered down the ramp. Uh, and if they see you running at them, uh, they are going to open fire. So oh, that's fine. So am I. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. So uh, they are going to uh, they're going to turn and they're sort of planted on either side of the uh, of the the parking ramp right down into the garage. Um, and uh, we'll say uh, you know there's probably like a uh, there's probably like a gate there and like a little um, a little like gatehouse. Uh, as well up at the top uh, and probably some like uh, concrete um, bollards right like just some some little sort of squat uh, concrete uh, structures uh, that prevent cars from going where cars shouldn't go Um, (laughs) which uh, I I have to imagine is something that Ollie would take as a challenge so you know file that away for future reference (laughs) Uh, so they, they turn around basically in front of this gate and this guard booth as the civilians kind of duck under it. Uh, and they, they see you coming on one of the, one of the scarecrow goons underneath that, that gas mask and burlap hood says, light them up. And, uh, they are going to start firing in your direction as you come towards them. What do you do? Um, I'm going to again be be fast and hard to hit until i can get to some form of cover but all the while i am just gonna try to hit as many of these guys as i possibly can and i'm certainly going for lethality at this point okay cool you have given jackie a gun (laughs) yeah you have the most powerful spell of all gun (laughs) it's gun yeah so jackie i think I think you are mostly, I think the most important thing here for you is uh, to maneuver uh, out of the way of this line of fire. Yeah, fair. So I think we're probably looking at a maneuver roll, unless you would like to okay. absolutely disregard your personal safety in all capacities. And wow, I've never roll, done that before. Uh, and, and roll a skirmish. I mean... Uh, I'm not I'm not quite disregarding my full personal safety, I don't think, just because, I mean, while I certainly don't really, I wouldn't like to see any civilians get hurt, it's more about making sure none of the gar- lagoons get to a car to potentially try to get after Ed. Yeah. And, you know, none of these people are threatening Manny, Ollie, and, you know, uh, Miri and Harvey are in here, so I don't need to put myself in harm's way that much. But. Sure. I certainly don't like them, and I, I would wish I wish I wish harm upon them for fun. Well, harm, so I'll d- harm is a game mechanic, so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can't make that happen for you. Yeah. All right. So I'll take the maneuver. 
Cool. So you're going to roll with your maneuver. Uh, I think because you're running directly into gunfire, uh, this is going to be a desperate situation. So Sweet. you're down one die for that. And okay. that puts me at um, disadvantage. You are at level with these guys. So, yeah. So you're starting with disadvantage. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to do something potentially stupid and uh, t- push myself. Okay. Just so I'm not rolling at disadvantage into direct gunfire. <laughs> Mark two stress, you've got one. Okay. Yeehaw. That'll be a five. Okay, mixed success. Cool. Uh, all right. So I think uh, the the mixed success here uh, is going to be uh, you are uh, you're not. Well, I'll, I'll let you choose. There's two. There's two options here. There's two options. Either mm-hmm. you uh, you are going to be able to get you are going to be able to get closer to them uh, and remain out of harm's way, or you're going to trade harm. Your choice. <sighs> They're both good in their in in their own way. Yeah. So the other one is if I if I I would just get closer to them, but wouldn't wouldn't. Yeah. So basically, you would you would be maneuvering yourself into a more favorable position here. So, for example, the next roll would not be a desperate situation for your next for your next action here, um, because you, um, you will be you will be in a position of of safety where you can fucking get them. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Okay. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the position. Okay. Cool. Uh, so uh, you um, you run at them, guns blazing, into the hail of bullets. Uh, these guys are not great shots, but they do have submachine guns. Uh, so you know, there's there's a, a good amount of prey and spray happening here uh (laughs) and that works if you have enough bullets sooner or later but jackie uh you are uh you are sort of steely-eyed and focused here uh and and, uh you're you're used to being under fire for sure so you are able to uh get pretty close to them uh, and you vault a sort of a low stone wall. There's kind of a low stone wall that runs from the asylum steps around like one quarter of the circle of this uh, roundabout driveway at the center of the courtyard uh, and then meets the booth uh, of the um, uh, and then meets the the booth uh, of the parking garage there. So uh, again, another choice. Um, I think this low wall continues on the other side of the ramp, another like quarter around the driveway. You can either go. This is uh, if you're running towards the parking garage. The main building is on your right, and the gate, uh, like the the whole island gate that Ed went out of, is on your left. There are two low stone walls. You can jump behind one or the other. Which do you go for? Um, I'm going to go to the one that's closer to the main building. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not interested in leaving until I have the rest of my crew with me. Um, And uh, I'm just going to get, I'm going to hunker down, just be like, geez, this scarecrow even teach you how to hold a gun properly? Couldn't hit the broad side of a fucking barn. And then I assume you unleash uh, a hail of Hell. lead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, great. So we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, Manny, uh, so you are uh, you are going for the hedges. Here's the hedge situation, the shrubbery situation. So behind these low stone walls, there are some pretty large. Uh, there are some pretty large like box hedges uh, Mm -hmm. and some sort of like low little plantings and shrubs that are, uh, they kind of grow up against the side of the main building. Uh, And they are, they are pretty, they're hefty. 
uh, they're they're pretty substantial, uh, and they run all the way along. So they run all the way along the uh, the main sort of hub of the main building, uh, and then kind of turn uh, and then run all the way along the uh, the side of the wing. Uh, so you know this building has two wings out. Um, and it, it does that mirrored on either side of these steps that go up to the door of the main building. Um, so you can certainly uh, try to get into those hedges and uh, uh, and obfuscate where you are uh, and confuse and disrupt the enemy. Um, or if you are looking for hedges elsewhere in the courtyard, uh, we can make a roll and see if you see any. Uh, yeah, Manny's just looking for hedges to confuse guards as to where she went and was hoping that that plus what Jackie and Ollie are doing means some like they lost track of her and just to kind of get the jump on it. But her plan is to be a cat, sneak out from the hedges, like pull people down and like disarm them, knock them out. Okay. So it is still, a f- and she's still fighting. It's just she's coming from the bushes. Cool. Uh, all right. So you are going to uh, prowl your way into the bushes here quickly. Yeah. So we're looking at a prowl roll. Um, I Oops. think because you are in full view of these guys to start, like mm-hmm. you're gonna have to you're gonna have to give them the old razzle dazzle uh, to loot for them to lose track of where you are. So you're rolling with a desperate you're rolling in a desperate situation. So you're down, okay, so one, down one to start. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, but I. Mm, I guess I, yeah, I will, since uh, I will push myself. Since we are in a firefight. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so then that's back to three. And so I already, I pre-rolled that. Uh, and that was, the highest was a five. Okay, cool. Mixed success. Um, all right. So... What does what does a mixed success look like in this situation? I think what is going to happen is, um, uh, yeah, I think I think you're gonna have to you're you're gonna have to take some harm here because you're you're trying to duck this uh, this bullet hell. Uh, so uh, again, similar choice to uh, to Marcy, but now uh, the geography uh, has been turned around the clock ninety degrees. So you are uh, you're headed back in the direction of the main building. You're breaking either left or right uh, as you are facing the building. If you break left, you are going into the hedges behind Jackie, where she's taking up taking up her firing position. Uh, if you go right. Uh, uh, there's nobody there. Um, I mean, you know, there's no, the, you don't have any allies there. Uh, Manny will head towards Jackie, but I have an important question about the harm coming at me. Yes. Is it harm because of, is that the consequences of detection? Is it the consequences of detection? Uh, no, because I think you okay. get it like they... Yeah, it, it's not. Um, it's not like they've detected you. Therefore, there there is harm. It's like they already know where all of you are, and they are okay. actively firing at you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, then I would like to try to resist that harm. Okay. Please. Yeah. So you have one box of level two harm coming in your direction. Uh, I think uh, you're basically just going to be able to resist that by. Trying to be fast, so yep. give me a roll with your prowess down your prowess column. Okay. Nope, I have three D six. Uh two fives and a three. Okay, cool. So uh three uh yeah, so uh right, one one stress. Six minus five for your highest. Okay. All righty. And then that gets knocked down to a level one harm? Yes. So you are, you. Okay. So what this looks like is Manny, uh, so 
so uh, uh, Jackie is broken in in one direction. Uh, you have bro- you're sort of like both running out, uh, kind of in in like uh, an expanding, not parallel, like diverging, right? Uh, and so you you. Dive uh, over, you know, you you like flip over this low stone wall. Uh, you feel mm-hmm. uh, sort of a, a hot uh, a hot graze uh, across your across your arm. It tears through the uh, the let's say let's say the shoulder uh, of your scrubs, um, and then you do a roll uh, into uh, into the bushes. Uh, and they have lost track of you uh, as you are sort of up against the stone masonry of the main building. Uh, and you can see from your vantage point in here, um, if you look to your side, stepping out from this cloud of gas that is uh, that is emanating out of the main doors are two scarecrow goons who uh, sort of step out Firing just, you know, full auto uh, or as close to full auto as they can do uh, in in close to a continuous burst. Uh, two of them step out onto the landing at the top of these steps that are uh, that lead into the main building. Uh, and you have a, a vantage hidden in the shadows, hidden in the hedges off to the side uh, of these two guys off to your side as they are uh, turning their guns on Jackie and Ollie. Ollie, uh, remind me what you are up to because I've completely forgotten already. You ah. are. Well, I think it's because I'm doing such a good job. Ollie is uh, running to take cover in wherever is the most. I, I think Ollie was taking cues from Jackie. Great. They were running to um, basically take cover and provide covering fire for whatever she was about to do next. OK, so um, here's your options. Uh, you can, uh, you can go for the fountain that's behind you. There is this big gothic edifice of a fountain, uh, in the center of this grassy circle in the center of the roundabout. Uh, that looks pretty sturdy. You can run for that and duck behind that. You can try to get behind, uh, again, one of these low stone walls that sort of encircles the driveway and the courtyard here, um, you could try to get over to the administration building uh, or the parking garage and and get yourself some cover there. But it's going to be tricky because you will have to actively go past scarecrow goons who are firing inward towards your position right now uh, or um just to to put it out there, similar to the hedges, if there is another spot that you would like to be, that uh, let's see if we can roll it into existence with a uh, uh, a study roll. I think the fountain seems like the most appropriately overly dramatic thing to take cover behind. Cool, cool. All right, so you book it for uh, you book it for the fountain, uh, and are you? Um, so you were backing down these steps initially, right? Mm-hmm. Facing in towards the guys who just emerged from the gas cloud. Are you turning around and just booking it? Are you backing up slowly? What's your what's your method here? Um, Ollie's 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 a runner. Ollie Ollie knows is more of about the escape. So I think um kind of fires a spray, a quick burst of bullets, and then uh, runs and slides. Great. Um, I feel like this is a bit big slidey energy. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, maneuver then as you maneuver your way into cover behind this fountain. And we are at level parity with them? Level parity, however, uh, as I have been doing with everybody else, desperate situation. You're down one. So... Um... I'm gonna just let it, let the dice, which is a five, which is a great life choice. Okay, mixed success. Um, 
Uh, I think, uh, I think again, uh, I'm going to throw harm at you, uh, as you are, as you are running, uh, you are are also going to get a bit of a, uh, you're going to get a bit of a graze here. Uh, one box of level two harm. Can I roll to resist that? You absolutely can. Uh, prowess down your prowess column. Well, that's a four, five, six, six. No consequences, no stress paid. We bring it down to one box of level one. Uh, and uh, I think what happens is, uh, Ollie, you you turn and you book it for uh, for the fountain. You're dodging bullets uh, and you slide in along the grass uh, behind the fountain as a bullet hits the stonework and this spray of uh, of stone chips uh, just sort of uh, lightly, uh, you know, cuts across your maybe your face and neck a little bit. Uh, not too bad, but you're uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, some blood. Uh, so you slide in behind uh, behind this fountain, uh, and as the bullets sort of ping off the stone uh, of this uh, pretty old fountain, it's a very nice piece of work, uh, and these guys are, are essentially taking a long distance jackhammer to it. Um, so you know, there's there's some sort of uh, uh, archivist or preservationist at. Arkham Asylum, who's going to be extremely unhappy tomorrow morning. But there's a lot of people who are unhappy at Arkham Asylum right now. So, uh, Ollie, you are behind the fountain. Jackie, you are behind the low stone wall near the parking garage. Manny, you are in the hedges, sneaky sneaking. What do y'all do? We can continue. We can continue in the order. Yeah, we can continue in the order that we've established. Or if somebody has something, Ollie. Uh, my, uh, yeah, Ollie's inclination is to shoot back. Can I see you, yeah. Ollie? I, I'm picturing that like we're forming like a rough. What's the you've, triangle? Yeah, yeah, yeah we've there's, got a there's, little there's, triangle, there's a triangle going on. on. Yeah. Yeah, there's a triangle going on here, and I think you, I, I think you can probably see me better than I can see you, and I probably saw, Ollie probably saw where Manny went into the hedges. Then I think Jackie, uh, in between trying to shoot uh, as many of these goons that we've man- now managed to kettle, <laughs> um, uh, this is now shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, She's going to shout in between uh, a gun burst, just like, hey, Ollie, want to see if some of these cars still work? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, and then Jackie's going to move to cover you because it'd be great if we could get all in one of these things and just mow them down. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. OK, great. Uh, and then we also, you know, bonus, we have a car. That'd be helpful. Cool. So Um, Jackie and Ollie, you are sort of at right angles to each other with the point of the angle being the two scarecrow goons who are standing in front of the parking garage. So love that for them. Yeah. So you've you've got them from two sides right now. I I think we're going to just come at them. Great. Okay, uh, this them, bro. <laughs> sounds. This is sounding to me like a group action, uh, a Ooh. team, uh, a team action here, perhaps. So, if uh, both of you open fire here and you're attempting the same action, everybody can roll. Uh, everybody takes one stress and will use the highest, unless you would prefer to oh, resolve individually. This one My a desperate stress. action, or are we at parity? Sorry. Is this one a desperate action or no? No, you both you both got yourselves into like good cover. You're you're in much more controlled situation here. If I take this as a group action, I will have one stress left. 
Uh, I think we're good. I'm just going to go ahead and say we're real we, fucking good. Oh, so we're not doing it as a group action, though. Oh, we're doing a group action. You should That's still what roll. I mean. If I do that, then I will take stress. Oh, yeah. How bad we are both you do. Stress? I will have one more after this. Oh, no, don't. No, 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 no. Don't do, <laughs> don't do that. Then. Okay, uh, so I we'll, we'll, you know. I just we'll re- resolve these separately. Then, well, okay, that's all prefer. that that is. So okay. what is what is the role that we're making? Prowess? Uh, skirmish? Skirmish. Yeah, you're, oh, you're each doing no a, problem. a standard that's skirmish. Three. That's three, baby. Yeah, already, no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be uh, two fives and a six. Okay, so you both got a six. So each of you is able to take out one of these guys, uh, and I am marking two segments on their clock. So uh, M- Manny's going to come out when they go down like a little scamper and steal their masks. Yeah. Well, actually grab their masks and toss them to all the you. you realize this is this a is very substantial. Yeah. I, you, huh? you can do this. This uh-huh. is a very substantial distance. And oh. uh, y- you you do risk getting you do risk getting seen again because basically you'll be leaving the oh, hedge. Okay. You'll be going up over the stone wall out onto the driveway, grabbing these things, going back across the driveway and then going back into the hedge. You can absolutely do it, though. I just want you to understand that there, nah. there may be consequences. Uh, cool. Uh, Jackie, she only Ollie, two, so it's just you two need one. You, you two need them. What what does it look like uh, as you take these guys out? Oh, this feels practice, right, Ollie? Like, we both, like, kind of give each other a nod and then, like, moving, like, in sync. Like, maybe we've done this in a couple of heists before. Uh, you know, we, we just come in and smoke these guys. I, th- I think there's, like, probably, like, uh, Jackie shoots off a couple shots to get their attention and then drops back. And then Ollie s- looks like they're about to stand up and fires off a burst. Gets their attention back again, and then Jackie goes in for the kill. Yeah, right. So they're they're sort of ping packing, ping packing, ping ponging. They're ping packing. Yeah, you know. They're ping ponging back and forth. Uh, you know, they they look in one direction. Over there! Ah, that shit! Over there! Uh, and you know, they're firing off bursts as they as they turn back and forth. Uh, but then, boom, boom, ba ba ba, both taken out. Uh, oh, and they this is fall a- to the cobblestones, their weapons clattering uh, on the stonework. This just feels like 100% a move that maybe Jackie has like taught to Ollie because this might have been something she has done in the past with somebody else who shall remain nameless. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the old one-two punch. Yeah, you know. Interesting. Yeah, I I, I, de- I definitely think that that is uh, that is something that because Ollie's not really Ollie's the the, the Ollie is flight. Jackie is fight. <laughs> Together we make one whole human instinct. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. OK, so, yeah, you take these guys out uh, and you now have a clear path down that ramp into the parking garage. However, this certainly attracts the attention of the two guys on the steps who have just stepped out. Uh, and uh, Ollie, uh, I think you can pretty readily see if you sort of like look at this point behind you because you're facing the other the other direction. There are two more guys coming from the direction of the manor. So four total left, uh, two on the steps, and two who are starting to come across the the driveway uh, in your direction, Jackie and Ollie. And I think the guys on the the guys on the steps um, uh, are uh, are turning in your direction to start firing uh, if you uh, if you break cover and head for the parking garage. Meanwhile, Manny, you are next to these two guys uh, in the bushes just off to the side of this uh, uh, of this landing at the at the top of the steps here um, I would say it's probably about mm, I'm, I'm gonna put it at like four feet high it's like about four feet from the the ground up to the door here on the steps 
Uh, and uh, you hear the guys sort of like curse underneath their uh, underneath their gas masks. Shit, they got them. Get the gas grenades. What do you do? Now you're muted. What do you do with sound? <laughs> Manny. Manny <laughs> would like to flip up onto the uh onto the, the level where they are. Yep. And essentially uh push herself to do a feat of acrobatics so confusing that the two goons attack each other while she rolls away onto the other side to the other side the hedges on the other side. Tremendous. <laughs> yeah. So it just looks like <laughs> and they're like they just get confused and start shooting. Yep. Um which is basically my fancy footwork speed uh feet. Which says, when I push myself, uh, I can misdirect my enemy so that they attack each other. Cool. All right. So uh, let's get a uh, let's get a maneuver roll uh, to basically see if there are any consequences to this. Like this is going to work regardless because of your ability. We're we're rolling for uh, if there's bad results as a straight roll or. Um, yeah, I think so. Straight, uh, okay. straight maneuver. Five, two and two. I have only rolled fives today. Interesting. Okay. Um, again, uh, mixed success. So I think um, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a choice: uh, harm, or only one of them uh, takes out the other. Um, let's, I can do with only one of them taking out the other. Okay, cool. So you, uh, so you, you know, you put your hands on the, on the side of this and you sort of flip up, you jackknife yourself, uh, up, uh, and, uh, sort of go behind them as one of the guys starts firing, you uh, you move behind him, and as you're running past, actually spin him around so that Wait, he buddy. yeah, so that he sprays the uh, so that he sprays the other guy uh, who just with a Wilhelm scream uh, <laughs> goes clattering down the steps, uh, and then you duck and roll into the bushes on the other side uh, of the uh, uh, on the other side of the steps uh, and this guy has no fucking clue what just happened. Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Uh, and uh, he he turns around uh, and is now like on kind of like on alert because he has no idea where you came from. He has no idea where you went uh, and now yeah, yeah. Uh, you are you are the Cotton Eye Joe of this firefight, uh, and this guy does not know the moves to that dance. So <laughs> he's looking around uh, and has actually stopped firing. I think temporarily at Jackie and uh, and Ollie, um, but also I, I think has um, uh, has sort of reached. Uh, to like a a bandolier that he has, uh, which has a number of um, cylinders, you know, just some little yeah. canisters on it. Who knows what uh, those could be? Complete yeah. mystery. I don't know if we want to c- come back to this later, but the fight will continue. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so that guy is, uh, I think, uh, looking for like actively looking for you now. Manny, uh, meanwhile, Jackie, Ollie, you are headed for the parking garage, uh, and you certainly have gunfire coming at you from across the courtyard on the other side as the guys who were over, uh, trying to follow the civilians into the manor house are now, uh, now headed in your direction, guns blazing. What do you do? So I think our goal, our new goal is to try to acquire a car to, to run these guys down and also have car. Yeah. Um, and, Great. 
if that's the case, then the roles have now been reversed. Jackie is going to cover you, Ollie, uh, as we like make a break further into the garage to just get any car that you deem to be worthy. <laughs> okay, cool. So Jackie, so Ollie, uh, you are kind of booking it down the down the ramp. Uh, of the garage, you know, we'll say you like dash across the cobblestones, uh, you slide under the gate, uh, pop right back up and you're uh, and you're booking it down the ramp. Meanwhile, Jackie, you are a little more tactically kind of backing your way towards that ramp and firing back at these guys who are coming in uh, from the other direction. So. Uh, Jackie, you are definitely rolling skirmish. Ollie, um, I think we're going to, we're going to bake a couple of things into this roll. You're maneuvering to get out of the way, but you are also trying to find a, uh, a promising looking vehicle as you get down. So we can bake this I into will... one roll study or I have maneuver. A... I have a relevant ability called find a ride. Oh. You can always find a vehicle, yours or someone else's in the immediate area. You have a plus one D to any roll, uh, what plus one dice to any roll to unlock, start it, or hotwire it. Nice. Okay, great. So in that case, uh, let's get a... Let's get one roll from Jackie, and this will basically encompass... Everything about the the two of you, like bending oh, off no these preference. guys and getting to the car, and that's yeah. that's going to be a skirmish. Okay, well that's three. That's three. So yeah, you're you're exactly. in a good spot on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just... Jackie's a skirmisher. That's what I do. All right. Um, I got uh, one, three, one, four, and one five. Five. Okay, mixed success. Um, so. Um, most straightforward thing somebody is going to get hurt um i think uh um i'll take that hit yeah Mm -hmm. i mean get out of here (laughs) i think i think the the success is that ollie gets clear uh and finds the car so jackie one box of level one harm Uh, i'm sorry one box of uh, of level two harm coming in your direction. Ouch. I'll still take that. That's what that. we previously yeah. I, 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 I'm too scared to resist that at the moment. So okay. I'm just going to, I'm going to take it. Uh, wh- where do you get hit? This one is like, it's certainly not debilitating, but um, you're going to have a bullet in you. Yeah. I mean, uh, so it's better to have it like in my side, right? Not, m- I need my arms right now. Yeah. I mean, you need, <laughs> you need all of you. When you get down to it. I mean, yeah, preferably that'd be great. But you said I do need to take a bullet. So I'd rather I get to choose. I'd rather not be in my shoulders because I need I need those are my aim and shoulders. Okay, so you uh, you return fire uh, at these guys uh, and you do feel a shot thunk into your ribs. Um, It is. it, it is it is not pleasant. Uh, I, I don't know that anything is broken, but it could very well be. You're not sure. <laughs> Why not? I've only broken these ribs like how many times? Um, yeah, you know, what, once once I get to a better location, I'll try to just get yeah. something and on it. You, but- you can kind of back your way to the um, to the little guard booth next to the uh, next to the gate. Uh, the gate arm, uh, and you can, you kind of, you know, you get hit and you sort of <coughs> duck behind yeah. that. Um, and the, uh, and the guys are, are running across. Uh, you hear one of them, uh, you want to hear one of them shout, they're going for the garage, try to pin them down. Uh, Ollie, you, uh, you dash into this garage. You are now one level down, uh, and the civilians uh, and the guards uh, are kind of huddled over. There's an elevator, um, and there are and, and some stairs right that go down to the the further levels, um, and they're kind of hover, they're kind of huddled over there, uh, and I think the the guards are sort of. Uh, 
posted up in in front of him. Uh, and one of the guards, uh, as you as you run into the uh, as you run into the garage, just sort of ineffectually shouts like, "Hey, what the hell are you doing? Get back here!" I think um, because I'm picturing running down a level, I think Ollie vaults over the side of the ramp and uh, like just drops down like, you know, eight feet um, and uh, is going to look for whatever is on on that level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mixed success. You find a you find a car that, you know, that you can hotwire very readily. Uh, which, you know, is represented by your plus one that, that you've got. Uh, however, um, it's not flashy. Like, are we talking like a Honda Civic, a Toyota Corolla? Yeah, uh, you know, a... Obviously, I, I think it's a not Honda, Vlad the Rats. Yeah, I think a, a Honda Civic. We like Honda Civics I, on this channel. Oh, maybe a Toyota Sienna, nice minivan. Oh, yeah, it's a minivan. It's a minivan. Yeah, you're all like, right. all right, bang, minivan. I instantly know. I know how to hotwire this. It's old. I think that's what it is. It's old, so you can uh, manually hotwire it. You don't have to, like, bypass a computer it or, like, a key yeah. fob or anything. I don't even think it's that complicated. I think it's Ollie literally jams the end of the spork into the key, into the ignition. Yes, <laughs> bring that Christ. spark back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love this. All right, so, yeah, Ollie, you're like, uh, you're like, all right, swoop, drop down, assess the situation. Toyota Sienna, bam. <laughs> you, you know, you, you, Butt through the uh, you butt through the driver's side window with your SMG. Uh, you pop the lock, slide into the driver's seat. Ollie, you're home, baby. <laughs> Jam that spork into the ignition. Get it in there. You feel it click against all the right pins. And that minivan roars to life in the parking garage. What's your next move? Oh, we going back up. Great. We're going to run some fucking... I don't even know what you call Scarecrow's goons over. Uh, I mean, first pick me up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess we can pick pick my allies up. Cool. Um, por que no los dos? We can do both at once. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah, you just hear like uh, you just hear the squeal of tires is all like, I don't know, gets uh, gets the gets the I, I, I'm assuming it's a front wheel drive. Just oh, gets, for sure. You know, gets her going and like does like a burnout and then sp- speeds up and around um, around this ramp heading up. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we see the minivans headlights illuminate like sweeping across the parking garage as the squeal of tires and the scent of burning rubber fills the air uh, as you charge back up the ramp. Manny, you are, uh, you have just landed on the other side of the landing uh, and there is a confused uh, but suspicious and aggressive scarecrow thug up there. Uh, I think uh, he, uh, he points his uh, his gun into the bushes on the other side uh, mm-hmm. and uh, and starts poking around in there. Uh, doesn't seem to see anything. His hand goes back to that bandolier with the uh, with the canisters. You have, I think, a moment before he whips around to the other side and essentially shoves the gun in your face in the spot where you're hiding. What do you do? Uh, Manny would like to, um, it was it more classic Mortal Kombat, like Sonya Blade, the whole like flip, grab, grab the person around the neck with your legs and then use your momentum to flip over them and then flip them over. Great. And like off the hard. side of the landing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. She wants to both I was disarm. really, I was really concerned when you said Mortal Kombat that you were going to try to tear somebody's spine out. No, no. And no, y'all, no. this ain't that kind of show. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't. No, no. None of that. Okay, cool. So uh, maneuver or skirmish, I think. 
Uh, I will like maneuver, please. Okay, maneuver. I'm going to say you're down one for a desperate situation as this guy is about to turn around and shove a gun into your hiding spot. Come on, little dices. Okay, it's fine. It's a six and a one. Okay, great. Six does it. Uh, So Yay, my first six of the game. uh, First one this session. So, uh, Manny, you, uh, you leap up. Uh, out of the out of the hedges, you do a quick handstand and a flip uh, onto the landing. Over, grab this guy uh, with your legs around the neck, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, you know he immediately <laughs> uh, as you continue your flip Go momentum it. forward. <laughs> Uh, and slam him down, I think, onto sort of the corner uh, because he was looking over the ledge, right? So you slam him Ow. like his sternum onto the corner yep. uh, of the of the landing, uh, and with a, uh, a maybe a bit of a crunch, he goes uh, he goes down, drops his weapon, uh, and you are back standing on the other side of the landing in the other bushes once again. Uh. If he's out, Manny will uh, both take the gas mask that he has and also uh, this bandolier of gas bombs. <laughs> sure, that could be useful. All right. <laughs> Mine now throws it over her shoulder like a backpack. Yeah, or so a crossbody strap. Add that, to, add that to your gear and mark uh, a slot for each of those as you are now carrying them. Yes, and she's also going to take his gun. Okay, great. So same deal for that. Yep. All bandolier. Right. So, yeah, you have a bandolier of mysterious gas grenades. What could they be? We'll never know. Mm-hmm. Wait. It's not Chekhov's gun or anything. Uh, as you land, uh, or as you uh, as you sort of fix this uh, this bandolier uh, over your over your shoulder uh, and heft the uh, heft the gun, you hear the revving of a medium to m- medium performance <laughs> engine uh, as Ollie fucking guns a silver Toyota Sienna minivan. Just, I I have to assume, Ollie, that you're just going to smash through the, uh, the gate arm, uh, of the of the parking garage uh and with a squeal of tires you peel out onto the uh circular roundabout driveway the uh the goons uh have been uh have been firing <laughs> the goons the goons have been firing at uh at the booth where uh, where you are ducked behind Jackie and they've shattered all of the all the glass there. Um, but you hear them uh, as this car smashes its way out of the garage. Oh shit! They got a minivan. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, Ollie, what do you do? Uh, I want to get in the car. I think I'm gonna like make a mad scramble into it. Uh, uh, yelling shotgun and just hopping into the front seat um, and like slamming the door closed. Jackie, uh, because of the angle that you were at, uh, the the seat is all the way over on the other side. Uh, the driver's side is next to the booth where you are. You are going to have to open the slidey door and get in the back. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll get in the back. You can... You can open the slidey door, get in the back, and then vault over into the passenger side yeah, seat. Yeah, I mean, even while losing blood, But I blood, need you to open the sliding do door on the I side of the minivan. I open the slidey door. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I open the slidey door, and I say, I'm I'm going to bleed all over, like, the nice... Well, it's not nice, but whatever, this van. I hope you don't mind. And then I'm just going to crawl awkwardly into the front because <laughs> I must... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Priorities. Amazing. I think on that, Ollie just jams down the accelerator and is going to um, kind of do some 
acrobatics that this van was never intended to accommodate. Amazing. Um, like some vehicular acrobatics. And I think kind of sends it onto two wheels. Um, you can. And it's going to. Here's what I'll give you. If you hit the fountain just right, you can, you can, uh, you can, you know, pop uh, the side wheels in the air. If you hit it just, just right. This the baby goal is to wings. eventually smack some of these goons with a van. Not just run them over, but smack them with it because insult should be added to the injury. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, but yeah, if you if you hit that fountain just right, you can take this baby airborne. You know it. Oh, yes. This is so dumb. Let's chitty chitty bang bang this. Absolutely a maneuver roll. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to push myself. OK, too stress. You got another die. Just, just in case. Okay, that was extremely worth it because that's a six, a six, and a three. <laughs> Two sixes? Critical Two success. Sixes and a three. Critical success. Uh, which which uh, f- does fill the clock here. So, <laughs> Ollie, what does it look like as you jump the minivan off the side of the fountain and just just mow these two guys over who are coming at you I, from the opposite side of the courtyard. I think you just see the guy who just who's just like, oh shit, they got a minivan. Turn back around to look <laughs> and just and just get thump. And then um, yeah, we get we get like a Mad Max style like you know car coming at. Quick, like quick in woof, on uh, on this gas mask face, uh, which you can just tell by the way it does one of these like that. This is this is a, a look of horror and shock uh, and then slam minivan like bumper we, meets face. I feel like we see the license plate grow in the lens of the gas. Mask. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bam. And then um, the minivan does a cool spin and just um, smacks into the back, like like spins around and just yeets. Yeah, you like you like tail gun. whip the, the other guy uh, and he goes flying with a second Wilhelm scream uh, over the uh, over the stone wall nearest uh, and into the uh, into the bushes. He rolls a couple of times uh, before landing in a heap. Jackie offers up like one quiet hand for a high five as she's like holding onto her ribs now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you have cleared the courtyard of these guys <laughs> with extreme prejudice and mid market soccer mom rides. Uh, and as you do that, uh, you hear a shout from the rooftops of the main building. Remember those three guys? Who were trying to find you up there? Yeah, they're still up there. And they certainly heard that there was a firefight happening. So uh, what you see is, you know, Ali, as you uh, as you sort of uh, 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 do your cool uh, fishtail into uh, into stopping slide. uh, Ali, Jackie, you see out the windows of the van. uh, Manny, you hear the shout from kind of directly above you and you look up uh, and there are these three guys who have now vaulted back up onto the onto the roof uh, and have sort of taken up positions behind that wrought iron fencing that was on the top of uh, uh, of either sides of this roof um, and are going to start uh, taking pot shots at you. However, as they begin to fire off rounds down into the courtyard below, you see a shadow rise up behind them, uh, silhouetted against the sort of grimy light of these roiling storm clouds and rain. And within seconds, 
these guys are gone. You see this dark figure basically dismantle these three scarecrow goons on the roof with a series of quick leaps and uh, these, like, uh, just absolutely precise judo throws. Uh, These guys are disarmed and out. And you catch the figure on the roof for just a moment, standing tall, cape draped about him, pointy-eared cowl silhouetted against the sky. And you are certain that this figure is narrowing his eyes at you before there is a swoop of this cape and the figure is completely gone. God, the temptation to just convince y'all to drive out of here is really strong on Jackie's part. You can absolutely try. You can try. Those gates are pretty intense, right? The gates are extremely intense. Uh, They are a couple of layers of reinforced steel uh, and you, you know, you just caught a glimpse of them opening, but they open with some very heavy duty mechanisms, which are you can't see, you could only hear. Um, I mean, I didn't say it was rational. (laughs) I just said the urge was there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the gates. Well, are you dro- where are you driving towards Manny? Like where are you? Because yeah, Manny's- I think Ollie has fishtailed, um, kind of, and is uh, was going around the circle again back towards Manny. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you you, you saw- drive your way around the uh, around the rest of the circumference of the circle, uh, and and pull up in front of the steps where Manny is. Manny will rush up to the car then and just say. Did you see that? Unfortunately, yeah, totally yeah. did. Don't uh, like it. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know who that was, but we got to get Harley now. <laughs> I'll give you a guess, but yeah, we should get Harley. Um, ooh, you don't look good. Is I'm fine. I'm adding. I'm adding interior coloring. Um, Ollie, do you want to pop the trunk so we can see if this mom had a. First aid kit in the trunk. Seems yeah, like something I, a mom would have. I feel like we should probably put some distance between ourselves and uh, any more of uh, inquiring minds. You know. Yeah, let's let's get Harley and get out of here. Yeah, but we um, we we Jackie's leaking. No, I'm I'm I'm. She's gonna rip uh, some of the uh, the um, I don't know how big our sleeves are from our prisoners' uniform, but she's gonna. Just tie it off so she stops leaking. Yeah, essentially. It's, um, I think the scrubs are short sleeved, so you have made yourself uh, a nice muscle tee. Yes, nice. That feels appropriate. Yeah, yeah. Um, and going I'm going to use that. It, it, it's not going to like fix it, but uh, you know, it will hopefully stop Jackie from bleeding all over our nice new car. Yeah, uh, if you do want to rummage around and look for a first aid kit and just try to, you know, uh, uh, do a, a quick patch job in addition to that with some first aid supplies, um, somebody can roll and operate and we can see if we can actually knock one of those uh, harm levels down. But that's up to y'all. Is there uh, anywhere to actually go in the car? I mean, you can rummage around the back and see if you can find the first the trunk. aid kit. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Ollie will put ourselves in a put put the van in a defensive position, um, and uh, hits the hits the like pulls the release thing, and it just like kind of jiggles it, yeah. and then just ends up yanking on it <laughs> to get it to pop open. Amazing, amazing. Uh, Jackie will roll down the window while you guys are taking time to do this, and just keep the gun like pointed up at the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ollie, do you want to roll or do you want me to roll? Um, I feel like Ollie's going to probably um, um, knock over a bunch of shit on their desk. Um, no, Ollie's probably going to uh, 
I think stand get be, probably do something similar to what Jackie's doing, like um, uh, pop the door open, stand there, make cover, uh, uh, like cover the general range and kind of uh, keep an eyeball out on whatever angles Jackie's not covering. Yeah. All right, I guess Manny's looking. Okay, so uh, Manny, you walk around the <clears throat> back of the uh, of the minivan. Uh, you open up the uh, the trunk gate, and uh, you you know you kind of poke around in there. Um, it's it's definitely like a classic you know soccer mom minivan. There's yeah, I mean I think there's literal soccer equipment in there. There's like a pair of you know there's like a pair of kids cleats. Uh, there's probably like an actual ball, some, you know, some uniforms, uh, there's like a cooler, there's probably like a, uh, uh, there, there's probably like a bag of snacks, uh, of some sort, um, and what kind of snacks? <laughs> oh, no, they're in Manny's hand, whatever they are. <laughs> uh, there's a bag of, um, for some reason, I want to say like Terra chips, like veggie. Yeah, that, yep, yeah yes, like yeah. like a bag veggie of veggie sticks. chips. Well, see, listen, we've been in Arkham for a while. Whatever they are, we're eating them. Yeah. Uh, also, we are popping over the cooler to see if there's anything in there. Uh, there's there's like um, there's like Gatorades. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Pass them around to the gig. Great. Gotta get our electrolytes in. Yeah, so Manny, you are you're digging through the uh you're digging through the the trunk of this minivan uh with a with a bag of Terra chips in one hand, just munching, uh, and a Gatorade in the other, like taking a couple of sips as you kinda <laughs> as you kinda like manu- you know, maneuver your way through the stuff. Uh, give me a, uh, an operate role to operate on someone. This is going to cover finding a first aid kit and actually using it on Jackie. Oh, I only have one on operate, so. Uh-uh. Uh, it's a five. Okay, mixed success. Uh, uh also soccer moms are the best. Yeah. So. Look being fed. <laughs> <laughs> so there is for sure there is uh there's for sure a first aid kit in here. I'm going to say the mixed success is um though this soccer mom is extremely prepared for a wide variety of situations, this first aid kit has seen some use and there are yeah. only enough supplies in it to just patch up Jackie this once. You're not going to be able to use this more than once. So, uh That's you find fine. like a um one of those like hard case, uh, like it's it's like a hard plastic case, white with you know a big red cross on it, which uh, I think the red cross will sue you for. Actually, they they really do not like people putting red crosses on things. Uh, wow, that that they're it's not actually branded. It's a red case branded. with a white cross on it. It's a red case with a white cross on it. Uh, and you you pop it open uh, and, you know, there's some uh, there, there's certainly some gauze bandages. There's some mm-hmm. like uh, some disinfectant, uh, some neosporin. neosporin. That ought to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Some neosporin. Uh, oh, you need a whole like, half a bottle of hydrogen peroxide and just emptying oh. it onto Jack. Yeah, there's like God. a very small bottle no. of hydrogen peroxide. And yeah. And Manny, you just you just come around. <laughs> you open the. Fuck. You know, you open the passenger side door, your mouth full of chips with a Gatorade in one hand and a bottle of hydrogen peroxide in the other. And you sh- Manny shoves the chips into Jackie's mouth. And Manny- <laughs> that definitely muffles the like <clears throat> screaming that she does before slamming like a fist down on the side armrest. Yeah, Jackie, it, it smarts like hell, but those chips are tasty. <laughs> I do, I do like continue eating the chips though. <laughs> All right, uh, so you can take your point of harm down one level. Awesome. Are you actually healing me though? Because well, it's not technically downtime, so no, this wouldn't count. I will just yeah. move it over. Yeah. So you're you're taking your level two harm down to a level one box. Uh, yep. If you already have a level one box marked, you've got two now. But if you didn't I have any, not. you only have one. Great. Cool. Okay. So, uh, Jackie, you are, you know, you're fine now. 
You're to- you're totally patched up. I'm you feel super great. fine. There's a bullet in me, and I definitely have a broken rib, but I'm no longer bleeding, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> Ollie, you're on one side uh, of the minivan. Uh, you know, keeping an eye out. Jackie, you are trying to keep an eye out on the other side uh, as. Manny just pours stinging fluid all over yeah, you definitely, uh, and like uh, kind of kind of mashes one of those um like those big gauze pads with the sticky <laughs> edges yeah, yeah, like a five inch by five inch oh that's gonna suck to take off it'll stop you leaking for now yeah and y'all know that the guards the guards who ushered the civilians away are going to be back shortly yeah. now that they've heard that the move. gunfire is stopped so you gotta move where are you going uh to get to get harley harley okay. yeah yeah is there we can't drive any closer can we uh again you can try but there are some pretty intense fences in your mm. way so the challenge accepted. Oh no. So the main building sort of blocks most of the courtyard and then there's Oops. a fence that surrounds like the entire there's actually a couple of layers of fencing that surround the entire island. Um so there's some layers of like chain link fence topped with razor wire that surround basically everything going out from the gate right around the whole perimeter of the island. And then there's like an older, like tall wrought iron fence with pointed spikes uh, at the top. Similarly, um, Mm -hmm. there is fencing along. So where the wings of the main building, like the two dormitory wings end there, uh, there's a fence that continues. There's an old wrought iron fence that continues all the way to where it meets the uh, the exterior fencing, uh, and that has been upgraded with chain link behind it and razor wire along the top of it. Uh, so that so the main building and this fence is in between you and the rest of the grounds where. The high security facility is. That's where Harley is. I'd like to make a hole through a bunch of fences if possible. You can yeah. you can absolutely 100 percent try. Jackie puts on her seatbelt. <laughs> yep. Manny does as well in the back. I'm gonna push myself for this. Because this feels like Okay. Um okay. I I am going to have to take one off. Uh, let's let's call the level of this fencing two. That's how we'll resolve. That's how we'll resolve this I just mechanically. Want to point, that out. point out that that means that we are uh, if if we put if we drive a van through a fence, we have technically achieved an XP point. Uh, <laughs> yes, you have. Uh, as you will have, felt. <laughs> you will have faced a challenge above your station. Fence. Amazing. Fence. Yeah, so so you're gonna be down <laughs> one because this is a heavy duty fucking fence. Yeah. Um and well, I I was at three with the pu- with a push. Yeah. And now I am at two. And I could you know, try to help you out by maybe eyeballing where I think the fence look, looks weakest and backseat navigating you into those, and then you don't have to take any uh, I I won't take any additional stress for helping you. With oh, this. oh yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, like I think, like um, just uh, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, like uh, Jackie, like giving Holly like a uh, uh, correct course, but like a little, little to the right, little to the yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Uh, no, by right. <laughs> I'm gonna make you do a fortune study roll for that, Jackie. Okay. To, I have nothing in that, but don't us. don't worry. I'm sure, surely this won't be bad. It'll be fine. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. Yeah. Okay. The fence is level three now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. So I'm rolling one dice. Uh yeah, but you do have Jackie's help. Yeah, okay, so I'm rolling two dice. Help. Yeah, Jackie, you're like I help right there. That's the that's the <laughs> I spot. Lost a, I listen, I lost a lot of blood. Why are you even listening to me? <laughs> Uh, and uh, Ollie, just we're, we're doing maneuver, but you, I'm sure, already knew that. Yeah, I, I, I had figured that out. It was a five and a two. Okay, mixed success. <laughs> eh, not bad at all. 
All right. You're not going to be able to get through the fence, but you are going to be able to get over it, and it's going to be <coughs> bad. So, okay. uh, so Ollie, you you shift the Toyota Sienna into reverse. Let me get the action music back here. <laughs> the fact that ambulances are now rolling down my street in time with this, I think is. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is this is completely this is completely correct. Uh, okay. Call an ambulance. Probably so for me. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> you shift the minivan into reverse. You back up uh, over the cobblestones and you sort of angle yourself uh, towards the side of the fence behind which is the high security facility uh, in all of its concrete bunker glory. And you look steely eyed at the wrought iron and chain links and razor wire. And uh, Jackie says there, right there, that's the spot. Yep. And you gun it, Ollie. You and you don't hear uh, the joke Manny makes at that because of the no, over the noise of the engine. <laughs> <laughs> you you gun it. You uh you you go over. You hit the sort of low stone wall right around the edge uh, of the, uh, around the, the perimeter of the driveway. You thump, thump right over it uh, and onto like, I think there's like a fallen tree here uh, that you, you sort of, as you, as your tires go into the air, they land on the tree. You drive up one side of uh, of this this tree trunk uh, <laughs> that is sort of like half leaning uh, leaning over. Uh, you hear the crack beneath you as the the rest of this thing gives way, and you become once again airborne, flying through space, a god of the minivan uh, as the razor wire and the sharp points of the, of the wrought iron <laughs> scrape against the undercarriage of the minivan digging into the transmission and the fuel tank and the axles uh, and the minivan gets caught on the edge of the fence and flips forward into the yard beyond uh, and crashes and tumbles end over end landing in a steaming pile of shit metal on the grass on the other side of oh. this gate. Task failed successfully. <laughs> utterly, utterly oh, wow. destroyed. Completely total. for the soccer mom who said No us coming back from this. Uh, <laughs> and the three of you sit in your <laughs> seats <gasps> in a state perhaps of shock and relief <laughs> as the wreckage of what was only 15 minutes ago, a completely serviceable 2001 Toyota Sienna uh, hums to death around you. <laughs> and we got oh out of that one unscathed. Now that's a miracle. Uh, everybody alive? Yep. Uh, technically, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oops. Thanks, soccer mom. Had, I didn't realize they had so many side airbags. Oh. Okay, was it the blood loss or did we fly for like a second? Oh, oh I felt zero so. G's for sure. <laughs> I'm going to try to kick open the door <laughs> and quite literally, gracelessly 
fall out in a heap. Yeah, out. yeah, you, <laughs> you, like you flop out of you, the car. You kick your way out of the out of the airbags, the side curtains. Uh, y'all have uh, you know airbag burns <laughs> now. That's great. Your complexions are looking rosy uh, as you tumble oh, uh, onto fuck. the uh, onto the grass. The, I wanted to look pretty for Harley. Oh well, uh, I'll just try looking alive. However, <laughs> you are you are back uh, behind the main building, uh, and the only thing now between you and the concrete bunker-like octagonal form of the high security building rising to the side of the Arkham main building is that narrow causeway covered with sheet metal and topped with razor wire. What do you do? Meet again. (laughs) So there's no doors here. Uh, nope. You are, you are still, you are in a more secure area, but you are still on the outside of everything. The only immediate access, if you look up at the, at the high security building, what you see, uh, is it looks maybe five to seven stories high. Uh, there are very small sort of, um, uh, like long, like lengthways, rectangular slit windows, uh, which mm-hmm. seem to be set back very far into uh, into the structure. Uh, they look like they might be wide enough for a person, but certainly not tall enough. Like a human head mm-hmm. could not, like, mm-hmm. uh, e- even if you kind of get on that, uh, you'd have to be a contortionist. Uh, it's not impossible, but you, you would have to have some serious skills. Um, so those are an option, though. I am presenting them as an option. Uh, And then there is this uh, fenced in causeway, which is where you initially got from the back of the main building over to the high security building. So when you escaped the guys off the roof, you took the ladder down into this uh, into this fenced in walkway. And then you went to the just sort of normal like patient transfer door. Uh, that goes between high security and the main building. Um. Well, let's fucking go. We can. Ah, uh, through the fence. Yeah. Through the fence. Through the fence. Shoot yeah. at it. Just shoot it. Just okay. fucking shoot it. Can get one second. Let me just aim, and I just I'm still laying on the lawn, so I think I'm just gonna like full body flop roll over, um, <laughs> and um, try to shoot a cutout through this fence. Okay. We are not a hot mess. I'm good right now. Okay. Uh. So. So, like most of the the other security measures here, this is a level two fence. Uh, so you're going to be down one to start. I don't even know what stat this is. I'm honestly, I'm going to fight the fence, David. So it's a skirmish, obviously. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're fighting the fence. Have you ever heard of a cage match? <laughs> <laughs> Hat tips. Hat tips. <laughs> Terrible. Amazing. Take, uh, so, take inspiration. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So, I'm so gonna, I'm yeah. Gonna roll with two. You you open it up at the fence. Yeah. This will be great. I'm definitely aiming perfectly. I'm not seeing like triple. A one and a six. Hey. So there you go. That is that, a spread. That feels, that feels very appropriate because I would like to. I'd like to flavor that with. Jackie rolls over, pulls out the uh, pulls out her gun, and for a second, everything is a little wobbly. Her ribs hurt, and she's doing this lying down because getting up right now sounds horrendous. And then she's just like, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> and then just yeah. like cuts out this perfect uh, human size, uh, like hole in the fence, and then she just flops backwards again. Ta-da! Yeah, and you, you manage to hit enough of the links. You don't hit 
all of them, uh, I think, but you certainly manage to hit enough of the links in sort of a human shaped arc that uh, y'all can walk up and kind of peel the the chain link back and up uh, and kind of duck under and back into the causeway. So uh, all of you stumble from the uh, from the wrecked minivan through the hole in the chain link fence and you are now back on the walkway uh, that leads to the high security building standing in front of the double security doors that lead inside. You were last here with one more person uh, who uh, convinced you to turn around and uh, go get his family. So you might be thinking about that now. Yep. What's your next move? At least, at least one of us got out of here. All right, let's let's add four more to that list. Okay, so Holly didn't tell you uh, where specifically her cell was, did she? Uh, I think she mentioned like. Uh, David, was it the fifth floor? I don't know where, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can have a study roll for it. Uh, as you study your memory to see how specific you can get here. I can shake out. Yeah, that's a three. Uh, all right. Uh, you, you have no memory you're going to have to get in there and either examine all the cells visually or you're going to have to find uh somewhere where there's like a a manifest or a list Mm -hmm. or a security station where there might be cameras that you could look at you're gonna have to figure out some way to identify the the cell here otherwise yeah you you know you're sure you're sure that Harley mentioned it in passing, but quite frankly, when the two of you are together, you have much, much more important things on your minds. <laughs> yep, exactly. Uh, I did just get, I did just fly in a car, so my my brain's not working too good, but um, let's try to hit up the security station and see what we can find. Yeah, if, that's if, probably a good idea. And if we can get a better idea of who else is in here, that wouldn't hurt either. Yeah, I mean, at least we've got the key cards so we can get the doors open, hopefully. Mm-hmm. You do have those key cards. And of course, you will have to swipe one of those uh, or tap one of those at the doors here. Light goes from red to green. And the security doors are open for you. And you can step back into the hallway. So you find yourselves uh, once again in the sort of uh, entry corridor of the high security building. Um, what you see here is like a uh, a sort of much more souped up version of the patient transfer area that you uh that you made your way through more than once uh, in the main building. So, you know, you have a um, a a series of fairly uh, narrow but high corridors here, Um, concrete walls uh, and and concrete flooring, very like harsh and uh, and industrial. and if you uh, if you make your way through here, what you see is uh, sort of the these periodic doors, which are much more reinforced than they were in the main building patient transfer um, that are sort of sort of labeled with uh, with, with various uh, things for the guards in here. So, you know, you pass this. Uh, you pass this building's like locker room. You pass, you know, a uh, you pass a break room. Uh, one of the first things that you pass is a um, uh, is like a little check-in 
station. Uh, there are some metal detectors in the uh, in the corridor, uh, and there is a uh, there is a window with some super heavy duty security glass set uh, into the side. Uh, and you know, this is the this is where patients are are processed in and out uh, of the building. And you you kind of wind your way through these corridors for a bit, maybe what feels like a bit too long. They're not branching um, or, or anything like that, but they don't go long before they turn. Um, it's sort of... Um, so you know every every college campus has that urban legend about the the brutalist dorm that is like a, a concrete bunker that they built in the 60s to deter student protests and it always has like these very short uh, these hallways that only run for very short sections before they turn um, it's it's that kind of uh, building philosophy Um where you are sort of supposed to be disoriented and you are not supposed to have a sight line down the corridor. So like a couple of times, you know, you're certain that you hear somebody talking. Is that a guard? Is that somebody from Scarecrow's outfit? No, it's nobody. You, you, you're sure. Or they're far off or they're not in the in the direction that you're that you're going. And so you sort of wind your way back and forth uh, at right angles through these these harsh corridors until you arrive uh, at an area that kind of um, kind of expands out. The corridor expands out into uh, sort of a a wider space. And there is a uh, the ceiling goes up and there is sort of a big square opening in the concrete fenced with uh, yellow metal railings with uh, black stripes along them. And just for fun and good measure, we will say that stenciled above this opening in big block letters, it says the Panopticon. And beyond, you can see into uh, what is clearly the central space of the high security facility. It is a very large atrium uh, running all the way up to the top of the building. You can see there is a skylight up there segmented uh, into eight divisions uh, and through that uh, grimy though it is you can just make out the storm clouds above continuing to darken into night inside this what looks to be seven story atrium the octagonal walls are uh lined at each story or ringed at each story with a concrete walkway uh, and cells. You can see these open glass cells, uh, which looks like that same heavy-duty reinforced glass that you saw uh, on the security uh, on the security booth as you were coming in. Uh, and you definitely note uh uh, a number of figures in black and white striped scrubs here beyond the glass. Some of them are sitting quietly. Some of them are pacing. Some of them are sitting at these little concrete desks built into the walls, scribbling away or reading. Uh, you certainly see uh, a couple who are working out, uh, just doing push-ups or uh, pull-ups on the uh, uh, on whatever they can sort of grab a hold of. Um, and certainly, certainly a couple who are just sitting there waiting. And in the center of this construction, uh, or rather of this atrium, 
is the feature that truly makes this a panopticon, a metal tower, fairly skinny, uh, with a set of metal stairs sort of running around the outside, going up all of the stories. And at each, uh, at each story of the Panopticon, uh, level with the cells, there is a, uh, there is sort of a mirrored glass, uh, there, there's a sort of uh, mirrored glass windows on the tower and searchlights mounted above that look out, or do they, uh, onto the cells. You can see that the only way to get from story to story here are these extendable metal bridges that are uh, at each level of the tower. And before you, just beyond that yellow metal fencing is a bridge, uh, is a bridge on this side. The only one that you can see on this side of the building. And it is currently unextended and it stands before you. What do you do? I think we so gotta... We gotta extend it, right? To get yeah. to the thing? Yeah. So, um, I guess... Manny... I guess, can we try the security card? Yeah, try the security card, but give me a fortune roll. Uh... Let's have this be with your insight. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I got a six. Six. Great. Six, so a one, and a two. You see, you see some controls uh, on the on the side uh, that say, um, uh, you know, bridge control. Uh, and there is clearly a card reader. Uh, similarly to the door, it is currently lit up red. You, uh, if you hold the card against it, it turns green. Uh, the little LED turns green, and there is a uh, a little lever uh, that you can chunk into the extended position. As you do that, the fencing, the gate. Uh, parts uh, outward and this bridge with the rattle of machinery starts to extend directly across from the opening where you are to a door, what looks like uh, uh, a sliding elevator door on Mm -hmm. the tower across the Panopticon. Guess we head in that direction. Yeah, let's go. Okay, you keeping an eyeball out for <clears throat> keeping an eyeball out for any anybody that's not in their cell. Oh yeah, uh, uh, I think Jackie's yeah. gonna bring up the rear with gun with gun guns out. Mm-hmm. So you're making your way across this bridge on full alert. Uh, you notice that there is, you are not on the first story of this panopticon. Uh, It actually goes down two more stories below Mm -hmm. you uh, before it sort of comes to this wide concrete floor. And you see that's where the the base of the tower is anchored. Uh, And, you know, you you look uh, you you maybe take a peek over the edge uh, and it's it's two pretty high stories. Nothing, uh, nothing nuts, not, not any higher than you were before, uh, up on the roof. In fact, the roof was much higher, but, uh, certainly, certainly enough of a fall, uh, onto that cold, hard concrete that, uh, you want to stay on this bridge a- mm-hmm. as best you can. Um, so you make your way uh, along the bridge, uh, between the, uh, extendable handrails, 
And as you sort of approach the center of the bridge, a spotlight thunks on and shines directly onto the three of you crossing the bridge. And you hear a familiar voice over the PA system uh, coming from the tower. Oh, well, you made it. That's very good. Very good to see you here. I, uh, hope you had fun with my associates in the courtyard. I'm sorry if they weren't better sport. They're grad students, mostly. Why don't you come down here and then we'll have tons of fun with you. Can you hear us this time? Mm. I can see those little lips moving, but I'm sorry, this is a one-way communication. Well, unless you uh, resort to, oh yes, there it is. (laughs) Gestural speech. Interesting that you've made it this far. Interesting that it should be the three of you specifically. I pulled your files like I said I would. I had one of my assistants here do a little bit of research and, well, you are a very interesting trio. Uh, Used to be a very interesting quartet, but, well, I was nice enough to let your friend go. We're still moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're... Yeah. Okay, great. You're still walking, and the light is following yeah. you as you... I can't yeah. stress enough how Jackie's now walking backwards, because I, I said she was bringing up here, and just, like, one hand on the gun, one hand just flipping whatever cameras might be around off. Yeah, yeah, you I'm can't... I'm picturing, like, a modified it's exactly weaver stance. That, yeah. <laughs> it's a modified weaver stance. It's perfect. Yeah, you don't know exactly where the cameras are, but it's a good bet that they are mounted on the tower. And you know what? You're making very, very clear. You're doing it at all angles, full coverage. No matter where he's looking from, yep. he's going to see it. It's the deuce, baby. <laughs> all angles. <laughs> well, Manny Quinn, let's see here. Uh, based on your file, we know why you're here, obviously. Your wife, Harley, is in this facility. You won't want to leave without her. I'm sure... She'll be fine. She's very capable, don't you think? Manny's not looking up. She's like eyes on the on the on the building. But she's like, oh, buddy, you don't even know. Just don't listen to him. Just don't listen to him. We're just going to get Harley and we're going to get out of here. Oh, Harley would eat him for breakfast. That's fine. And Ollie, Oliander, have your file here. Now, this is interesting. Uh, Your criminal record seems to be rather entwined with one Dr. Pamela Isley. That's interesting. Our areas of research do overlap sometimes. It's interesting that you haven't tried to locate her here yet, but I'm sure you'll figure it out sooner or later. What? And Jackie Ripley. I was extremely excited to come across your file, Jackie. Yes, indeed. You're interesting, of course, but you know who's really remarkable, Jackie. Your sister, Miri. Now that, that is a singular woman. I wonder, Jackie, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, how similar are the two sisters? Shut up. Shut up, shut up. He's just, he's just saying stuff to get into our heads. Yeah, Jackie, don't listen. We'll just, we'll take care of him later. Come on. 
He's oh, just trying to slow us down. Uh, and don't worry, Miss Ripley. I assure you, your sister is perfectly, perfectly safe. <laughs> I'm not listening to him. Not listening to you. Uh-uh. I'm not listening to you. Mm. I wonder. I wonder. You all have people here and elsewhere who are connected to you, who are connected to me. People you care about. What are your fears for them? What makes you scared for their well-being, their safety? I'd like to find out. And the spotlight thunks off and you can hear from all around you in all of the cells behind all of the glass a hiss as you look around and you see each of the cells here slowly filling up from their main vents with this gas that you have come to know and I'm certain love. Okay, okay. And the last yeah. thing that Scarecrow says before he thunks off the PA system is, well, we're going to find out what each of them fears for certain. Do be careful not to open the wrong cell. Click. I thought you meant he said click for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manny's running. Uh, yeah, so you, uh, you, uh, <laughs> you maybe have a bit of a situation here. Yeah. We don't have that many masks. You certainly do not. So you book it across the rest of the length of the bridge and you arrive at the elevator door uh, built into this level of the Panopticon Tower. What's your move? Note that uh, you you can certainly try to get access to this elevator. There are also these, um, they appear to be emergency stairs uh, yeah. that sort of go around the entire outside of the uh, of the tower. Uh, and once again, the only way to get onto those cell blocks is the extendable bridges, uh, none of which that you can see are currently extended. Oh, wait. There's one mm-hmm. way, way at the very top. There is one bridge extended over to the exterior cells. Well, Manny does not know where Harley is. So we talked about how we had to go look for some manifests. I think Manny's going to run and like jam the secure one of the security cards and like try to press the elevator to see if it remotely responds but if it doesn't instead of like trying to figure it out she is booking it up those stairs yeah i mean the the elevator will certainly respond to the key card uh and the doors the doors open uh you know you have a small very utilitarian elevator but certainly the the three of you can fit uh in here you know it's one of those ones with like the corrugated metal walls Mm. yeah yeah is anyone else picturing like guardians of the galaxy right now that's not an incorrect yes. vibe. Yeah, Except we're all yeah. Well, we're we've, we're all beat to hell and stressed yeah. the fuck out. No, I bet like you know with the jailbreak and Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are the vibes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, a gun's out. We have to go up. We've got to go to the control booth to try to like look at security footage for what the. F- yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is happening? Who's in yeah. here? I mean. Uh, if, we're, if we're getting we're getting into the elevator, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we can. Do, is it one of those that you pull it down to shut it like the little metal gate? 
Yeah. It's like a mini cargo elevator. Yeah, like the do- like right, like the doors open and then there's a gate that pulls up and down and you have to pull the yeah. gate down and then the doors close. Um he, okay, he, so he you He's lying, right? He he was that was just you looked at our files and he just said the right things. To, he, uh, he he just picked words, babe. He just picked words. He's like, "Oh, a sister, that's got to be a button I can push." You know? Mm-hmm. Like Might and I I I I've been here right that that Har- Harley will know. Harley will know if she's here, right? She would have heard. Because if I just if I, searched our files, Jack. If Ivy is here Fine. and he was right about that, then what he said about Miri could also be a who. Okay. Yeah, I mean Ivy. Like I mean, he just looked up known associates, right? Like for for Ollie, like that's gonna be the first one that pops up besides us, right? Family yep, next to that, Ken. That's it. It's gonna be. In your I file. know that. Yeah, it's just that. Um, N- you know, now, I if got... he asked you about your third grade teacher, I'd be worried. <laughs> okay. Not public information, right? Like this is uh, that. That's then you can find that out with public records, babe. Uh, and you have uh, obviously, uh, I think, pushed the. Uh, uh, there's, pro- I think, probably like a little label uh, that that says. Uh, you know, um, uh, tower control, uh, which appears to be on that, uh, on that top floor. Uh, and as you've been having this conversation, the elevator has been going and it thunks to a stop at the top of the tower. You pull up the gate, the doors open, uh, on the other side, of the tower, uh, at the, or on the other side of the elevator at this point, because uh, now you are facing the interior uh, of the uh, of the tower. And you see uh, something not unlike a, an air traffic control tower here. Uh, there are these big windows that are angled outwards that look over the entire Panopticon all the way down seven stories. There are uh, terminals, uh, computer terminals lining the walls, uh, some, you know, uh, some crummy swivel chairs uh, with just enough padding that somebody could sit for uh, for a full shift. Um, But a couple of them are knocked over and there are uh, a couple of guards here, unconscious, on the floor. What do you do? Can we see what made him go unconscious? There's no sign in the room. Uh, the f- that- Can we tell if it was like blunt force trauma? Uh... Yeah, you can you can check them out. Uh, give me a, a fortune roll with. Um, I mean, this would be like an operate uh, sort of a thing for you know a, a small medical operation. Well, I can't do any of that, but I'll still do it <laughs> if you want me to. Okay. Oh, there uh, four and a five, so it'll be a four because that's my. Um... Okay, four. Uh, mixed success. Uh, I would say uh, you. You can't tell if it was blunt force trauma per se, but you don't see any blood. Mm. Uh, and the you you don't smell traces of anything in the air. You know, I don't think you, it was the you gas. You didn't get like gas or okay. chloroform or anything like that. Though Somebody you know, it, it might have dissipated already. Uh, I was looking up. Is there anything on the ceiling? There is a hatch, which is open. What are you, what are you looking at? Oh. Well, um, no, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna retcon that. Oh. It is not a hatch. It is a uh, it is a panel. It is a ceiling panel. Mm that has been moved aside uh, and you have a clear view out of the top of the tower through it. 
Uh, I think Ollie just uh, gestures at Manny and just goes. Uh, did you say shush or yeah. uh, pointing up? No, Ollie's Ollie's doing a shh. That's something I would do. Give me a boost. <laughs> And I think Ollie's shoulders sh- like uh, slings the SMG and then um, does the little foot yeah. uh, hand cradle and then um, yeets uh, yeah. Manny. <laughs> Manny's going to get yeeted and is going to try to like peek out just to see what's going on. Uh, Not saying anything yet. Yeah. Manny, give me... Um, uh, give me a fortune roll with your study. I got, I got, I got, I got a one on that one. My study is is a one, a four, a four. Okay, mixed success. Um, so you you poke your head out uh, and you see the sort of uh, pretty filthy metal roof uh, of this security tower. Um, and uh, there, you, you look around. Uh, there's nothing really of note here except uh, like some antenna. Like uh, there, there's like a, a couple of antennas uh, at the top that seem to, you know, connect wirelessly uh, to, uh, you know, maybe maybe they're like radio receivers. Mm-hmm transmitters to like the mainland or something like that um and there's there's some cables that kind of come off of them uh and go you know are are strung like up to the roof for power do i see any like footprints in like the dust Mm. with a mixed success i'm gonna say it's a little, maybe, but it's a little too dim. Okay. Shit. Yeah. All the, a, all of the no obvious. All the spotlights here are pointing down, and there is yeah. that skylight. But like I said, it's it's the sun is really starting to set, so you're not getting a great view. Um, if there's not something obvious for Manny to follow, that like whoever came up here did this. Uh, She's going to jump back down. OK. Um, we don't know if they came up that way or came down that way. I think we just keep looking for Harley and keep an eye out. This yeah. is the top, right? You've always put the buttons and the switches and the levers. and Yeah, the yeah. There's got to the, the, be a roster or something, though. We got to go to the operation, like the... I'm assuming there's a place with the windows that looks out over everything and like the buttons and the monitors. That's where you. That's where, that's we, where are. you that's are. That's where we are. Yeah. That's where we are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's um, where the elevator yeah. let you out into. Let's. We're gonna. Um. I think Manny will start looking at the cameras if anybody wants to go look through like logs. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll look through the logs. Okay. Cool. Uh. Let's get. Uh. I mean this does feel like a teamwork action, but you don't have to do it as teamwork if you don't want to. I feel like everybody's doing a fortune roll with study here. <laughs> What's the difference between a regular roll and a fortune roll? Uh, so a regular roll and action is when we bring things like desperate situations or, oh. uh, or you know, levels, pushing yourself. All that, all that is in a standard action roll. Fortune okay. rolls don't use any of that. Basically... Uh, an action roll is when you when you do something in the world. A fortune roll mm-hmm. is when you just want to leave something up to chance. Gotcha. OK. Yeah, I was so. just curious because uh, fortune roll with a stat. Yeah. So fortune rolls can be against anything. Uh, mm-hmm. We could use your crew level. We could use your individual stats. We could use your attributes we could use we could roll against your uh the amount of funds that you have if we wanted to mm-hmm. yeah so we're doing a group no oh, we're i think rolling. because we don't we don't want jackie to take the stress so um i got a five again i did i did as well 
I have disadvantage and I rolled two fives. Yep, that, that's the same thing that happened to me. <laughs> wow. Five Did we roll five fives? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's okay. Sick. Um, the success will be mixed, damn it. Fives, <laughs> fives for everyone across the board. Uh, uh, David, can I get my five shaken, not stirred? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I like my uh, fives high. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Fives. I'll see myself out. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, you put it in a highball glass. So, uh, I'm gonna say what you find is, uh, so there there are screens here. There there are uh, there are screens for each of the cells. So there's this this huge array of of screens, and they all have little like label maker labels taped to the bottom of them uh, that have the patient name. Uh, All the screens are completely filled with static. Um, You cannot see what's going on, but they are labeled with cells. So it says like, uh, you know, uh, 6A, Jones, et cetera, et cetera. and I think uh, if you inspect the screens, you look around uh, for a bit, you're going to find a screen uh, labeled uh, cell, let's say, 5F Quinn. Hmm. What? Uh, what do we see? Mixed success. You see static. Fuck. Static. Shit. Yeah. Um, are there controls for the b- b- expanding, collapsing bridges up here? Uh, yeah, you can you can extend or retract all the bridges from here. It looks like uh, Manny's going to try to extend the bridge for level five. OK, yeah, you are certainly you are able to do that. No problem. All right. Let's go get her. Um, do we see anybody else's names on those lists? Before you see a we, lot uh, of names. <laughs> but yeah. none of them, uh, you know, no Isleys or Dents. None of them people we love with. Uh, you asked, not me. Study. Yeah. Uh, yeah, give me, give me another study roll. This is just a fortune roll. Oh, well, that's much. Shout out to the two crew Mm. in honor of uh, not another TNT podcast. Yeah. uh, Uh You know, you see cell uh, 2C, Zaz. (laughs) Oh. He can stay. He can (laughs) stay. Wait, who's Zaz? I think we would know who Zaz is because he's an infamous fucking serial killer. Oh, yes. He's the. The, one the one Victor who, Zaz, infamous serial killer known for marking his body uh, for every person killed. And he real marked up. Ew. Yeah, we, yeah. we should leave him in there. All right. Let's hope he stays put. We're Scooby, uh, uh, Manny is Scooby running. Okay, <laughs> so are you all getting in the elevator back down to five? Uh, I think we could, or it's how many stairs of ab- how many levels above five are we like two? Oh, we can just go Take stairs. OK, great. So you you open the, the door uh, and you take the stairs out around the exterior of the tower. They're, they're sort of like Ricky, rickety fire escape stairs, that kind of thing. Uh, and you you scramble down two levels. Uh, you see the level five bridge. Uh, sort of thunk uh, into and click into place uh, across the way uh, and you start heading across the bridge. Uh, how are you going? Careful? Full tilt? What's the vibe? Uh, well... Hurried. M- Manny is a small person, so I don't think it's there's very often in life where she's like, oh, this bridge that is traversed by heavily armed guards who are big men will not take my weight. So she's not thinking about it. She's going. 
Okay. She's pretty light footed anyway. Yeah, I, th- I think Jackie might be going pretty slowly, if only because her paranoia has now been reactivated. So now she's just like aiming at any sound. Anything. Also, yeah. also, she has a duct tape hole at her side. Yeah, much. it's fine. <laughs> and I got to tell With you. a bullet in it. Uh, there, there are some not too pleasant sounds uh, <laughs> filling <laughs> the atrium of the Panopticon at this point. Uh, most of the cells you can see are now completely filled with gas, and the the inmates here are reacting in in various ways. Um, you certainly hear screaming. Some of it terrified, some of it uh, enraged, uh, sobbing, uh, people people raving. Uh, there are inmates who are like banging uh, against the glass. There are uh, inmates who have just like curled up, uh, you know, into the fetal position in the corner, uh, just backed themselves completely against the wall uh, who are, are just sort of uh, muttering and raving to themselves. Um, there yeah, are the, 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 definitely uh, a number of unsavory looking characters who are just beating against the security glass as hard hmm. as they can to trying to get out of these cells. Uh, it's definitely giving Jackie bad, uncomfortable vibes of like what was maybe an hour ago and she was in a similar position. Yeah. Yeah. It's like she can feel it still in the back of her skull. Yeah, for sure. And I think the uh, the glass is not necessarily 100% airtight. So what you're starting to see as you cross the bridge and as you start walking around the perimeter of the uh, of the walkway, the concrete walkway here is from underneath the uh, the cell uh, the cell windows. Uh, there is gas just sort of seeping out uh, and sort of sort of flowing along the floor like dry ice. Um, M- Manny is running to like just looking at the numbers and running to till she finds five F. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, obviously she knows Harley's getting gassed. So she's not there. Yeah. She's, she's moving. So you book it around the, uh, around the edge of this. uh, And I think each of the, the cells is labeled, you know, similar to the, the main panopticon label, big spray painted block letters above it. Five A, five B, five C, five D, five F is open and gas is just you you didn't notice this because there not enough gas had had uh had poured out to show you the difference at a distance between the closed and the open glass but now it's just pouring out of the vent at the back of the cell and out onto the causeway uh and the glass here is completely raised open and the cell is empty. And you Fuck. all sort of skid to a stop uh, w- w- in what front does that of mean? it. Just immediately, Manny's like, Harley! Harley? I mean, there's a lot of, there's a ruckus. It's, it's just an instinctual yelling out for Harley more and, than an actual, like, expecting her to answer. And you hear from way, way, way above you, Manny. A oh, baby! Is that you? Harley, where are you? I'm a ghost! Ooh! No, I'm just kidding. Ah. I'm up here. Uh, and you look up uh, and you see peering through uh, one of the panels of the skylight at the oh, very God. top of the panopticon, which has been pulled aside, uh, the uh, the white uh, face uh, and pigtails dangling down of mm-hmm. one Miss Doctor Harley Quinn. Doctor, baby, don't scare me like that. I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't know it was you. What are you doing, running I- around down there? Oh, right. That's my cell. <laughs> that's why yeah. you're running around down there. <laughs> Manny holds up a gas mask. I bought you a present. Oh, that's a good one. All right, hold on, Mini Muffin. I'll be right down. And, okay. Uh, you see her 
Uh, you see her swing through the skylight, uh, grab hold of one of those cables connecting to the, the top of the tower, slide down it, land on the roof, uh, and sort of just leap uh, very elegantly uh, and acrobatically through what you have to assume, uh, though you cannot see it from this vantage point, is the hole uh, where the panel had been moved aside uh, up at the central uh, Panopticon terminal. Uh, uh, Manny will turn to Jackie and Ollie and say, elevator down? Let's get get the hell out of here? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to get the fuck out of here. Let's do it. Uh, back over the bridge to the Panopticon mm-hmm. to meet up with Harley and then get the fuck out of the building. Yeah, yeah. I guess um, he really was just screwing with us. The uh, my, <laughs> my doc ain't here, so I'm yeah. Sure. This, this, well, how, how on earth would he know my sister? Right? That's it's it was just just to fuck with us. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's he, fine. He may have googled her and saw she had a, you know saw about the bakery and just made some stuff up. Yeah. Why doesn't Where this else? make me feel any better? Because you got a hole in your side. That's that's right. Sure, that's it. Also, that's you just you, you had your brain scrambled about an hour yeah, ago. Yeah, I really hated here. Have I mentioned that? I'd love yeah, let's to get, get the fuck out. <laughs> We're moving. All right, so you you book it back to the um, you book it back to the the bridge, uh, back to the tower. Uh, you head over uh, and. Uh, I think uh, as you um, as you reach it, the elevator doors uh, open up, and you see uh, you see Harley there in uh, in the elevator. Uh, she she's sort of like uh, she's sort of like got her hips cocked, hand on <laughs> hand on hips. Uh, looking, looking very, looking very sassy. Uh, Out of herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and is like, come here, mini muffin. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, man, and, and she, she does like at her like a flying squirrel. Yeah, she does like like a little uh, like a little squeal and sort of shakes her hands and and <laughs> catches you. Catches you full on, uh, swings you around, uh, and uh, in the elevator, uh, your legs in the air, uh, and just plants a long, lingering smooch on those lips. Oh yes. Well, she, well Manny didn't have to like take the mask off. <laughs> oh, you had the gas mask on. Oh yeah! As soon as we heard the gas mask go off, maybe put hers on. Uh, uh, okay, no. So Har- so you, uh, yeah. So she she twirls you around. She rips the gas mask back off your head, uh, yeah. and then and then goes in for a long kiss uh, and puts you you know puts you back down uh, on the floor, baby. <gasps> oh, it's, it's so good to see you, but it's. I have stories about the time we had, but we should get out of here. Oh, also, here you go. Uh, you don't want that ma- that gas in you. It, it, mm. Nah, yeah, it, tell you about it, it looks sometime. bad. It looks like everybody out there is having a bad time with it. Yeah, I can uh, they are. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, everybody. You know, I uh, I knew we was breaking out today, so uh, I, I figured I would go meet you on the roof. And uh, I was headed over there and then uh, I saw the bridge extend didn't want to chance it with that, so uh, I booked it back up to the roof. Then, uh, well, I <laughs> I heard Manny here calling out, and I was like, oh, okay, it was them, actually. <laughs> did, did you happen to hear uh, the, the, the Scarecrow guy and all of his blah, 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 blah? Oh, yeah, he goes on for so long. He talked to me for, like, 15 minutes while I was uh, doing everything up there, uh, like like getting into the, the security system. Uh, did he threaten me heavily? 
Oh, yeah. Well, not okay. at first. And then he said that he pulled the files and uh, mm. then then he started getting real threatening. Uh, you know, he seems like he gets off on uh, on fear, uh, making people afraid. Uh, it's yeah, pretty got that. It's pretty basic stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. You, you know, like, you know, it's. What do you think? In, insecure in his masculinity or what, what are we dealing with? Yeah, it, it could be a number of things. Uh, you know, we could be just dealing. We, we could be dealing with anything from sort of a, 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 an anxiety gone, uh, gone amok to uh, like a, like some sort of control complex, malignant narcissism. There's a lot of options, you know. Oh, but we're just standing here and we should be leaving because he is yeah. filling this entire oh, room with gas. Yes, I do. Like to keep- uh, and she yeah. uh, and she hits the uh, she hits the button uh, and the uh, uh, and the elevator goes down. Uh, she says, uh, "Jackie, Ollie, it's good to see you. It's been a minute." Yeah, you're. I gotta be honest, uh, Holly, you're a real sight for sore eyes. I'd say the same to you, but, um, well, Jackie, uh, you look like you had a fight with a lawnmower and lost. How's that different from any other day? (sighs) I'd wish you'd take care of yourself. Manny, can you please tell your friends to take care of themselves? I, I, I tried. I'll take care of myself when we're all out of here. How's that? If it helps, she really showed a chain fence who was boss. Yeah, uh, and and where's Ed? Is he waiting outside? Ed no, got Ed's, out. Ed got out safely. His kid was here. His ex-wife was here. It was real stressful, so we got him on their way because we did. We couldn't let a kid get hurt. Yeah, oh, poor guy. And then you came back for me. Of course, baby. Oh shucks, you shouldn't have. I mean, you should have. You definitely should have. <laughs> we did. It, it, oh, um. Also, when we're out there, something was taking out guards that wasn't us. So uh, we should keep an eye out for that, too. There's just a lot going. Oh, where? Rooftops? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't like the sound of that. Nope. Mm, No. More Uh, reasons for us to leave. I love, love. Yeah. We we kind of uh, destroyed our getaway, our first getaway vehicle. So there's a garage and more of them. We're gonna need another one. But uh, uh, sorry, Doctor Quinzel. Um, I was supposed you know. Holly, come on, you can call me Holly. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, Harley. I I don't suppose you've seen um, uh, Ivy around anywhere. Ivy. Ah, Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. No, I ain't seen her. And not recently. Um, you, you heard that she's been around in the, just on the island. Hmm. Not for a while. She got out a while back. Well, with you. Oh. Oh. But not uh. recently. I don't know. Uh, and you know, if she's around, I would have hoped I'd heard about it, but. Uh, she certainly ain't here. See, he, Scarecrow okay. was just messing it's with you. Just him messing with us, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, if he was saying stuff about about Ivy, <laughs> forget it. Listen, Ollie, here's what I promise you. If she's around here, we'll find her. Don't worry about it. And Jackie, yeah. I, I'm sure you're going to want to uh, get Harvey and... Grab him before we go, right? Wait, stop. What? What? And that's where we're going to end it for tonight. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) Okay. If I woke my room up made up yelling at you, that's your fault. (laughs) The perfectly timed wait, stop, what was brilliant. Well, folks, uh... (laughs) Thanks for joining us here on Manipot Studios for Streets of Gotham this evening. Uh, We run on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on Manipot Studios on Twitch. Uh, We 
will typically be running uh, and, and every other week schedule, but uh, coming up, we got back to back to back weeks. So uh, we are here with our redux of episode six. We're going right into the next one next week uh, on, I believe, the third. And then the Monday after that, we are back here again. So three weeks in a row, three installments of Streets of Gotham, uh, two more left. But join us for those. They're going to be great. We also uh, we also have uh, all of our past episodes up on YouTube. Uh, if you go to youtube.com slash Manapot Studios, you can check out past games. You can watch the original Escape from Arkham series uh, and you can watch all of the past episodes of Streets of Gotham that we've got edited up for YouTube uh, and catch up if you haven't caught up on the story so far. We try to get those up on Fridays after they air, uh, and we're, we're trying our best to, to get that, but keep an eye on the YouTube channel. Subscribe so you know when they're, when they're up. Once again, uh, I have been David. Uh, you can check out my tabletop RPGs over at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, which is the simplified multi-setting version of Blades in the Dark that we've been playing this evening. Uh, and I am also on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'm at dbrunel Brutman there. Uh, check me out. With that, I will throw it over to our cast for their final shout outs, plugs, etc. Let's kick it off with Marcy. Hi, uh, I have been Marcy. I will stop continuing to be Marcy as soon as I turn off uh, my camera so I can go scream quietly into my pillow that I have to wait seven days to resolve what just happened. Um, but when I'm not doing that, I am a writer and editor by day and by night I get to play a bunch of amazing characters with a bunch of amazing people. Uh, and, uh, you know, in one of those shows, uh, no big deal, but I, uh, I did win as part of a best ensemble cast along with Harper for a show that is also on Manapod Studios. Award winning uh, cast member. Award winning cast members right here. Hell yeah. That is on this show. Um, yeah, that's the hole in the world. That is every other Sunday at 4.30 p.m. We're currently on hiatus, but we are coming back with our premiere episode on October 9th. So now's a great time to catch up and then join us for some surreal, magical, absurdist wonderment uh, in a truly, truly unique setting. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, trust me on this. There, there's just so much craziness. And uh, in case you're still needing other shows to watch on Manapod Studios, well, tune in tomorrow because Hopper will be DMing uh, the final game of our Lord of the Rings flight. Uh, and it's going to be freaking epic. So be there. That'll be Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, come join us. You can still catch up on the last two episodes uh, in VOD on Twitch. Uh, and uh, next month, we're going to be taking a spooky turn. But I'll tell you more about what's happening next week. And that's all I got. Cool, cool. Pooja. Hello, everybody. I am Pooja. You can find me on Twitter at Pooja, at Pujabaraki, on everything else. Uh, and let's see, this week you can find me over on Not One Fun for running Feywild, a D&D 5e campaign set in the Feywild. Uh, lots of fun, lots of good times. And then on Saturday, you can find me over on Total Party Kiss for Strange Hungers, a D&D 5e all horror table. Um, all queer, all horror, all the time. Good fun. So that's it for me for right now, but uh, I'll be back here next Monday. Great stuff. And Hopper, bring us home. Well, still me, still Hopper, and I'm kind of sorry about that. Um, but guess what? I'm an award-winning dumpster fire. Award-winning so cast member! Yeah. I'm just, it feels listen, pretty good. I'm just so proud of you. I'm, I'm pretty, like, can, I'm still a little bit stunned. We... We're pretty dope, but like some of the people that were also nominated for that is like holy shit. Um, so 
Um, but if you would like to, yes, I will be running the final uh, installment of our Lord of the Rings trilogy flight tomorrow um, at 8 p.m. on here. Uh, I think Marcy covered that really thoroughly and also Hole in the Worlds. Um, if you want more of me, uh, more of my shenanigans, uh, you can come watch me run a, what is a, functionally an evil D&D campaign um, where... I'm actively trying to murder the players because they're the worst. Um, and that uh, that is uh, Dark Visions. Not all monsters are from the manual. Um, and uh, that's over on my Twitch channel, which is uh, twitch.tv slash the legend tree. If you're looking for more of my bad hot takes and general opinions, then you can follow me under Failed Deadly. That's with a three instead of an E because I'm a bad person. Um, but other than that... Um, yeah, September is Suicide Awareness Month, so make sure you're taking care of uh, taking care of your peeps, taking care of your loved ones, and reaching out. Um, it's, uh, sometimes that's all it takes, and um, you know we can all stand to be a little bit kinder to each other, except for Nazis, punch Nazis. It will also make you feel better. A- amen. Thereby, to thereby you. helping you with the previous thing you just said. See. Amen to all of the Full above. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. 100%. Well, thank you all. Uh, thanks to the fantastic cast. Thank you to everybody uh, watching at home, everybody following along in chat. We will see you next time on Streets of Gotham right here on Manapod Studios.